big media blunder because the, the police pull a press release with the go read this person are saying us. After we read that, what happened? Not necessary. I think a lot of people have also been wrong on that fact. No, wait, hold on. No, if the press release yes. said a read is ongoing. And yes. say a read with a go read. No, they at say the no at the time. I mean I'm gonna pull the press release up at the time when they release the press but, release. But hold on, Mr. Jarrett. Yes. I am driving somewhere. The, now the, the truth of the matter is if you they pull a press release, say you they go read somebody, you already don't put the person on into us. No, I think like I say, I think a lot of people have also misrepresented police not say we they go read, police say we are reading. Uh, we can read the press <laughs> okay. release. Well, that is just a matter of technicality, but my concern now is this so, one. So, I mean, I'm just referencing the police, the young press conference, even when they hold them. Yes. Police said that raid they wouldn't, wouldn't pull, publish it, the raid was ongoing. That raid day happened between six to nine. Mm -hmm. And that press release was released somewhere around that particular time. So a lot of people thought, oh, police don't inform this person before then they go raid. But, and then press release. But that, but, but that, but that was, was not what was spent. Kelvin can attest to the fact that we don't get rid of other places then. In Eastern, Jubitel, the middle lady, as a matter of fact, um, the, the chair lady of that place, the, the middle arrest them. And she's also helping the police with some information. But why was there no press release about Jubitel before the raiding took place? Why was it about a particular individual? Is it because that individual is somehow connected to the president? Or is it because they just want to do something for let people you know actually put a, 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 a good eye on that thing? Now, you say there was nothing of interest found within the premises of that person. But, Mr. Jawad, it's so simple. If me no say, me na DJ Wonder, then they come for carry epic radio. Sometimes I get some illegal thing away like I know not want for do. I can simply call one of my body and say, boys, but you can't take this thing for me, but you can't go first. Then later, there is nothing you could actually say that you have to that effect. So this state of emergency being there, it means say, a lot of things that actually, where we be the expected we will see, they will be swept under the carpet. That is my concern and that's my thought. That sometimes, when they put selective activities on very important things, we were supposed to be there. And these are things that we, it all affect with society so much. So we go back to this situation, Usai, almost everybody be the advocate, say government, Una declare this a public health emergency, una declare on the public health emergency, and then now we have it, but some people they condemn now the public health emergency itself. It's it's not just about declaring the public health emergency. Mm. It's about getting the peddlers of this thing because and another sad thing we don't Isn't happen. that part of the general effort with government they do by declaring this an emergency and puts mm. resources and police in hand for do that? Mr. Jawad, me I would never like um, take the side of an institution we're supposed to serve. We, mm. the government is supposed to provide security. The government is supposed to serve the people of Sierra Leone. Now, putting this as as a priority, putting this as whatever measures you want for put them in place, it still boils down to the point that there are a lot of unanswered issues within this crusade that we don't have a um, um, solution to. Who are actually the biggest um, 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 importer of Kush? So, what is the approach you want to prefer from government, Kelvin? Uh, for example, mm -hmm. um, government de de for, for deliver services to people mm -hmm. uh, um, based on the constitution and many other laws them will exist. And of course, according to what they don't put as the program of development, for example, the manifesto and other things. Mm -hmm. So, all that they not stand on a void, they get basis, and they basis and they basis in the law. You understand? So if you tell, uh, if police get into intelligence now, they don't need an, a, a, a state of emergency. If you understand, say people then get in one particular place, then they illegally deal in money. They don't need a money emergency law for goody. Then they go there. Then people where they get at they do their thing and human trafficking. They don't need an, an emergency human trafficking for letting go fend there. People they do human trafficking at Tonga, police can just boss spend there. They don't do it now, please they will kill. Mm. When they don't break a whole cartel. They don't play, go in a place, then checkpoints there. They do a very good uh, uh, job 
in, in, in arresting people. So now they don't even divert human trafficking to the Liberia end because they don't say this Guinea end now and Kabbalah end all don't become unfriendly because the police and don't aware then they catch them. So you don't need a state of emergency for these are common things. Even the communities where been they to long them about and wash them so food and all the rest of it. They did a, a good job, although they say it is human rights uh, uh, invasive, but the, the fact remains that then push now, mm. then don't reduce their communities, then don't migrate now, go to the, the mountainous areas, then where then you, 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 if police motocano able to claim go up there. So what in that they tell you that if there is a move, a consistent move from the security forces and all the parties that way they play. You know if you need an emergency for able to get it. If you get rid of the the, the, the bobo the way they take the suppliers then don't they don't cripple because they don't spend a lot of money. They're not able to recoup them back because the market not it. Because okay. police were able to destabilize the market by getting any okay. side before they get us scattered. Eh? Before arrest to for arrest, uh, uh, charge uh, person for unlawful possession. I'm gonna come back to you on, and, on that and, particular and, and point. And take the other social moves then eh, will be done embed inside the strategic mm. plan. Now um, let me go to you, Melvin, because yesterday, um, I think this week, um, this is a conversation we had here. We'll be to talk about the regulation we for follow the state of emergency. Mm -hmm. And um, good thing is, the, the AG, Attorney General, turned up yesterday in Parliament one week after that declaration of the state of emergency. So just give me briefly what happened. Well, it's good morning from Bulem, and sorry for coming late. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a complex explanation, but definitely, again, for do it, something we will be doing envisage, and this is by provision of the laws of Sierra Leone, and particularly the Constitution of Sierra Leone, which talks about, of course, the president be done taking power under Section 29, Subsection 3A, and definitely so, the same Constitution provides that in Section 1, 170, Subsection 7, A, B, C, and and a, a, B, and C, that any sort of such laws mm. are going to parliament. So we project, we analysis being actually be in place. However, what happened yesterday quite significant because we don't get precedent before during the corona. We are in attorney generals, then they go and lay a paper and the house deliberates, meaning take action on that, but not with the, the regulations. And in this case, and in one recent example is that of the coronavirus, it seems as if Parliament look at the fact that, yes, President get power under Section 29 for declare public emergency. And there's an interesting fact we we'll can talk about. We talk about the one way we don't announce who and how long it valid for. Mm -hmm. We're now for seven days and waiting to happen now technically. But um, going back to the same fact, um, Parliament yesterday being... Suppose everybody would expect, say, because of the kind of zeal and attention when they don't get to the issue, then we we'll we'll deliberate on them and make sure that they get. But that was not the case because from both the opposition and the government bench, they agree, say, the Attorney General, upon the next sitting of Parliament, we're interested, we will be on, on, on Tuesday the 16th. And if it's as per the provisions of the laws in Section 177, it will expire in seven days. And if you look at the proclamation itself, the document, it was gazetted on the 9th. So if you do the mathematics, it will mean, say, technically, the first part of this proclamation or the first one week of our technically not make any, any, are you what you call, um, um, parliamentary or, 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 or jurisdictional difference. However, within the day for underscore now that the regulations they're not there before parliament in the one for CR and within that they mean mean a lot. So did Parliament approve within in Kegu yesterday in a, in a, in a, in a Parliament or then send them back? No, no. You need to understand that it, it was not a situation of them approving it. Mm. It was a situation of them first accepting for deliberate. Okay, and they're not accept for deliberate. Yes, but on the other hand, they allow the Attorney General and Minister of Justice for lay the document mm -hmm. with an order that upon the next sitting, if a, if a table, the, regulation. the regulations. And, and normally, what's the regulation and they consist of? Uh, that are the, the bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that we're going to talk about now. So, for example, what you do to person, what you do to situations, mm -hmm. what you do to 
when you actually they in possession or not possession or where the aid and abet. Mm. And uh, like what we been get um, Ebola, how you for Komoya go up line. So then boil down to the needs and pieces. The, the small, small, the small, small detail. fact, the thing that we regulate the law itself. Mm. So that not been day. And there's a general, well, of course, doing work by way of where he go and go lay the paper. But many people will be expecting because of the kind of advocacy and campaign we don't so huge about the issue, all those homework for them be done upon in and, submission. And one of the things we'll be surprised a lot of we is that there was bipartisan support for sending the attorney general back home for making doing assignment properly for, for cow then regulation in there as well. It, it's quite important. It shows say people in the justice ministry, people in our state house, people in the executive for they do their homework well. Because that is a slap on the face. If you don't they evaluate the situation and you are going to parliament mm. and you are going empty and they're just that, oh, we are coming on section, section 29.1. In my estimation, I'm not a lawyer, but it's a vague, vague provision and it's also time bound for seven days. And now seven days you are used no more for, for Fed Kush or 21 days as in the provision of um, um, 177B. It, it, it cannot be... So, I mean... It, it shows that there is a lot, there is a need for more political commitment from the executive. I mean, expect say, at least somebody in the attorney general office for don't raise that up, say, we cannot go to the house without a regulation. I mean, under COVID, maybe that might have or passed. Emergency. But, but now, this parliament is much, much more wiser. Of course, there's once beaten twice shy, and then now this parliament seems to drive towards waiting people and they say, now anyone for do, mm. as we see in the toll gates. We're very good for, for the democracy in terms of representation, but I know we can praise this parliament here for we then fail yesterday for getting a two-third majority, majority for take any action as per the constitution of, of Sierra Leone. Mm. That was a blight. Representatives, no matter what you use pretty as an excuse, the house the, was empty yesterday. The house, the house struggle, in fact, for get a quorum. That's been said, but also the house was not well seated. Forget the actual number of MPs with a need. Let me just check my notes for the facts of um, two thirds factor. The house needed two thirds of MPs. So that is 97.32, assumably in mathematics, 97 MPs, which was. Which is 66.67 percent of MPs, and not be there yesterday in representation. So, in as much as we want for blast the executive and the justice ministry for mm -hmm. up the game, members of parliament for also take their representational role very seriously. Or if not, the plenary, the arrangements of the business of the house be fixed in such an order that you know, if you know, say pray they don't be today tomorrow, you know, we'll call parliament. That is understood understandable but if for an important issue like this we parliament don't labor so much mm -hmm. on although we don't see a, a joint committee report yet i think say then for we don't foresee this okay. or otherwise take the real action of coming there and making sure that they get the three thoughts we not been there in as much as attorney general not being get in regulation so mm. it's a situation of politicking but also a situation of being very sensitive to public concerns What's your thoughts on that? The fact that the Attorney General go, and of course there was bipartisan support from APC and SFP and say, let's send him home and make sure a cow their regulation there so the government will go abuse the state of emergency. Well, the government already starts to abuse the state of emergency. In which way? How can you go to a parliamentary sitting? Then, you know, well, I would say you're not adequately prepared. Well, that's not abuse. I mean... Well, no, because the minister is a representative of the government. Yeah, but how does that constitute an abuse? For, well, I said they don't begin. Mm -hmm. I know they don't abuse already. They okay. don't begin. Meaning that um, the minister himself knew that there were some things that was not with him, mm -hmm. where if I don't prepare and go with. And then the second thing where Melvin make mention of, where clearly Kitchener that even the timing of the meeting was inappropriate. Of course, we know this country, not so just parliament yesterday. Yesterday, pass around the city. This is the city empty. Like a lot of people, they don't even go about their normal activities. I don't know why. So if you want to table such a very important um, information, I would have advised that you could have done it before the holidays, or maybe you could wait till next week. Because as it is now, today being Friday, it's also going to be like another lazy day. 
And you're not going to expect say, a lot of people then go come on board for kind of And that just thing. goes back to we own lazy culture of us loving so, holidays. So, as so, so basically, that shows that even the emergency where we really talk about, it's like an something where we really need for examining at the implementation. The intention is very good. We know, say, Kush gets a very, very rippling effect on society, whether it's your physical appearance, whether it's your social interaction. All these Kush addicts that we have now, they all come from a family. And these family members are very, very concerned. The same with me and you. We do not even get members where they do, them, but we know how the society is done now. Tif don't boku. Now, Masada woke all man they do them because he won't get 5,000 for letting himself go smoke Kush. So these are just the things that we are saying that it should be something that should be taken very seriously. And it should not just end with, with um, us tabling um, documents on parliament and everything. Let's just look at the implementation. But this document I'm reading, I think, for provide the basis for action. Jawa, do you know how many road? documents we have in this country? We don't go through parliaments. We know actually bring Boku impact yes, for society. But should that mean we should not table them? I am not saying that we should not table them, but mm -hmm. they, I'm looking at the implementation. Well, uh, do we have the mechanism to implement what is there? It's just been one week since this was declared. So maybe two months, three months down the line, we could. Perhaps we could be in a Before for even the declaration, mm. I could remember, I think it's the Minister of Social Welfare. We say it will provide a rehabilitation center for these addicts and everything, um, which is very good. And then we also hear it back, we then they talk about um, some penalties that if they catch you, you repair the kush, you go go jail, all of these things. Already done the existing law anyway. Yeah, all of these are there. So, how best are we going to see that this thing happen? And about Dandy back, that last one you were mentioned, so some people then they use that now as an opportunity for which hunt others. You go see them go begin to say, ah, this guy not push their money. And that's why and that regulation you know in the, happen, that's why they, that they regulation go, with they don't AG, go disturb them. That's why the regulation with the AG for cow, that's why it's very important. So, so for now protect everybody. So now you don't come back to my point C as a member of the executive, instead don't begin falter. You know that there are lots of things that you should come up with. It just like me, where when I invite me for come on Epic Radio, I have to prepare myself. I'm not just coming to sit on the radio and then okay. start for talk. Right. These are just the things that if you want to be serious about something, your preparation stage should be very, very paramount. All right. I'm going to come to you now, and I want to go move to another issue, but still with Parliament, because this is the week as well where Mohamed Bangra was snubbed, and, um, and there's some issue we don't really bring some rancor. That Mohammed Bangura, Honorable Mohammed Bangura, they blame the, the, the Speaker of Parliament for deliberately omitting his name on, out of that list. And then we see publication where um, Abdul Kabo is absolving the Speaker of any blame, say the Speaker and not be the part. Any of that, um, this was just a, a lawful process. They submit their names and the Speaker had no option. So you have that back and forth. But what do you really think about that whole episode unfolding the way it, it did? Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for Mohamed Bangura, I get so much respect. Honorable Mohamed Bangura, I get so much respect for because of a very thick political skin we get. Uh, I think he chopped this time around by, by you know, even coming on air and blast the scenario. If a, if I don't personally go blast speaker inside your office because uh, speaker not the, not the accommodating type. We, you can do anything once now within the confines of that in office and parliament and stuff. But coming public, me to me, you know, make better sense because he, he had nothing to overturn when a speaker make a proclamation or he make any decision at parliament. Even the laws of the, the, the judiciary of Sierra Leone not capable for overturner. So for Are he, you sure about that? Of course, the parliament they regulate himself. And then they take no, no, but that doesn't mean same. Parliament is above the law. But not a law. This is not a law. Uh, parliament break. Oh, mm. now nah, pick them pick. No, every no. they may not be pick people. And, and that's different different people. And, and the pick is not the, the the bone of contention. Not to the pick. The bone of contention are the facts that the list was not announced in Parliament okay. ahead of the swearing in. In that particular instance, in that particular instance, you pick the brain of Melvin on that. Mm. And Melvin clearly tell tell you say. Uh, uh, yes, they're supposed to read them. But if they're not read them back, there is no law where say if you know read them, mm. you get one kind of case for answer. So it is not so you can always be. Because, because it's not just about see, the reading, by the way. It's not just about the reading. It's also about the approval of the house. Okay, 
Una read this list and we all long say this now members who for represent Saluna the Equas. I did member we you talk to Melvin. Mm. Melvin we na ma we is a lot of regulations. Good thing he's here. The point you know you know pinpoint on any offensive uh, uh, action mm. we it take because there must be a regulation where state say you must do this before this be. You must do this before this be. In the, the, the continental arrangements and they. They, they are just something like a best practice and, and, and conventions mm. and all the rest of it. So, you don't know, take any offense because a, a scenario be happen now. This now one of the previous parliament, the way mm. a certain woman parliamentary and strong been there, where people I mean, they look at like they even subverting your party activity within the parliament. You, you understand, but because there we are no. The uh, bones broken according to the law. She was there. I walked there. You don't the, so the, now, honorable Banadet, the, how you mean? No, well, I don't have a name. Uh, it's okay, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to put a scenario. Yes, of course, safe, with, with, with the Pan African Parliament. But, I think. but the truth is, there are many other parliaments Pan African, mm. Commonwealth Parliament. Uh, at least, if you don't chop this chap, it can go meet that pan, it can go pan and say, well, you're not doing me fine. No. Maybe the Pan African ego did it. Okay. Or ego did the Commonwealth. Yeah, you understand? But these are things where mm. inside Oceania, when I can arrange and they, because yeah. especially now you don't make like Abukago see you like for say, you know why let himself better because <laughs> now you're in opposition. <laughs> and they, okay. Melvin, and what's your thoughts about <laughs> all of that as he unfold? Of course, I mean, Kelvin is, is even quoting you in some of his responses. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not in Bible for Parliament. Yeah, thank you for the quotation. All right, thank you very much. Um, from, firstly, I think the way to the struggle for analyze now the fact that whether the speaker is right or wrong. And, and whether he did omit Mohamed Bangra's name or not. <laughs> okay, firstly, the omission of the name is not the primary, mm. but rather the procedure. In this ca case, the speaker he writes, but he wrong. <laughs> I explain that in some way. He writes for the fact that even now, Honorable Abdul Kabo said they are testing, he consult them, and, and get them, get their approval, right? Mm -hmm. That is the best practice. So it's a victory for APC, where we know say be one pull and they and pull on us, leader at the Foreign Affairs Committee, and and stripper and send them to backbench. It's a victory for democracy because that's what democratic and legislative best practice dictates consultation cross party dialogue but it can be a bot for the SLPP when we know politics is about tricks and tactics remember when honorable bangura been taking the decision and by the way our beg for differ way on a um, miss on a, um, i won't call you honorable yeah. kelvin <laughs> with kelvin <laughs> with kelvin they say a chap a not chap because you don't know what's going to be the cost and the consequences that's the difference between political commentaries. Because as at now, you will say each up. That's fine. But what does it mean for the intra-party relations within the SLPP? What does it mean for people who don't see Honorable Mohamed Bangura as one celebrity politician? We take a risky decision at a time when many others not venture for do so. So is that undercutting or undermining cross-party confidence in the SLPP? It's and a matter of what I Now to the speaker. Mm. I think the speaker is wrong for the fact that practice, not law, practice and procedure demands that he seeks the blessing because the announcement is like technically a motion. Mm -hmm. Speaker don't announce. What do you want to say? And not give members of parliament the opportunity for have them say. And our decisions are taken in parliament majorly are by voting, either by saying, um, either by head count or by uh, collection. It's uh, called collection uh, of voices, mm -hmm. eyes on it. That was not done. And that breaches best practice, even if you go argue, say, not law. And one so, member so if, third argument was that a non necessarily mean say as well the representation have to be shared by party that oh power per APC forget to or power no, per SFP forget to. No, I think Honorable Mama Bangura is totally wrong. Mm. He must consult the constitution again. I, I will look shortly for the right reference. The constitution say representation in parliamentary committees should be representative of the political party's strength, numerical strength. And I must say as it stands numerically, if the SIPP for who are make power, power is still there for me, even Bab APC YMP. And if say we, we the, take four we instead take of four, three. Because there are precedents to defects. 
But I think because of negotiation and dialogue and the tripartite and international engagement, the SLPP party was magnanimous, magnanimous to give them the usual two seats. And in this case, the two seats are Honorable now, Honorable Abdul Kagbo, and mm -hmm. Honorable Mabu. I think what is wrong, and I think it violates the ECOWAS Supplementary Act, is the fact that there's the, it, 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 Articles 18, subsection, we'll find out, but that, go to the Supplementary Article 18. It says that they must get the approval of the National Assembly. And in that this, approval was not sought. It's not, it does not state what, how you get the approval. Mm -hmm. But it says the National Assembly. And if we talk about the National Assembly, we are hoping it's the plenary and collective house. In the, this case. And, and, and in terms of technicalities, because in our state, how we forget that approvally, could it also mean that if the leadership of SLPP and APC meet and agree and meet speaker, that could also be translated as getting the, the support of the house? That is subjected to the Supreme Court. Mm. And that's why I beg for defer also to Kelvin, where he say the decision of the, the, the speaker is final. It is final in the courts of parliament, but not final in the general jurisdiction of the country. There so, are countless precedents where in parliament and speakers have been sued. We get Gambia, we don't get other country that now where they, they, they practice are. Even with Sierra Leone parliament, there are precedents in our courts mm. against parliament so where you quote section 94 one that parliament regulate itself i always don't argue this for the last 10 years where mps like you make a short cut it's a subject to the provisions of this constitution so usai constitution so parliament not big past the 1991 constitution of course. Yeah, no. you don't need to be a lawyer to know that and so mp like you is a parliament big past the constitution you can never because parliament is a creature in section 73 of the constitution and the constitution i'm born parliament parliament is powerful it's the supreme legislative body but it's not the supreme constitutional body so when parliament take a decision where somebody deems say it's ultra virus the constitution parliament can be sued so one last question because this is practice and not law if mohammed bangra been say i'm going to litigate this if you say forget right I, I, I feel say poli if political willingness day and we cut there, there will be neutral, it will be win the case. Mm. Okay. Yes. Let me let for me. For the hear. fact that the major omission there where the law will look, you know, to all things written in law. If you look at section 170, we we'll talk about the constitution itself, it tells you about the different forms of how we get law and saloon. Mm -hmm. Practice if mean well, may not be lawyer, mm -hmm. if me not for be lawyer, pre it's part of precedence. So I think the honorable Mohammed Bangua for be win the case against the speaker. Though the speaker is a fine lawyer, he was going to be arguing on ambiguities. But let's wait and see what's going to be the political repercussion. Mm. And for somebody who go blast honorable Mohammed Bangua, if you look in political history, he has always thrived on publicity. Yeah, and this is not good publicity <laughs> for him. Like so, it's so you know, you be, you know, not, not judge it whether I go be a blessing or cause. All you right. Know, what's your take on all of this? Well, um, basically. Melvin and Mr. Kelvin do actually say a lot about the issue. I go once for see the next step of Honorable Mwame Bangura because well, next step it's a winner. I say don't let in case we go. No, but that is just an an open challenge. Like mm -hmm. he, he can talk and say I left the case we got. You don't know what he's planning in the background. He don't listen to it in Melvin. They say probably tomorrow or Monday he will decide for filing. A, um, 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 a petition against the Speaker of the House of Parliament and then he can go court. And then whatever happens, we never can tell. Okay. But, this is, but this is where we have a problem. Yeah? Sometimes we they think, say, for just involving practices is the best solution to everything. I believe, say, we for the land also back from practicality. Because this issue of the ECOWAS courts and its representation, it's not a new incident. Mm -hmm. We be done to get her repeatedly, especially with some one power, patino in a power, then they look at other Google represent them. Really now the yeah, now begin things ah, okay, well how can send this man so now you know we don't go eat. So it just like now Ususu to themselves to themselves. But then let's look at how best we could improve. I mean like it or not, one. it's a form of Ususu really because <laughs> I mean you now you turn you don't go now, Miss Evan I think Honorable Wami Wangra was also part of the last ECOWAS delegation, isn't it? I think he attended two or three ECOWAS yes. meetings. He and was an inaugurated in, 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 in Ghana. Yes. He went on an oversight somewhere. He went to the No to the Ghana Czech Republic. Yeah, he went to Czech Republic. Yes, I think he, he went to Czech more Republic. Than six times. Exactly. So, so you can understand the personal benefits attached <laughs> there too. 
<laughs> so you don't see Nadamik as a minimum jump before the, the horse. Let's wait and see his next action because knowing the character involved, while Bangura can talk to this, ah, Jawad, me, ah, don't let fall into God. Tomorrow, it'll come to back. Jawad, that is it. I know, I know, if I'm going take action, then what do you do? Okay. In just closing, in just closing, I just want to ask one question. How did Mohamed Bangua get to that position We Abu Kabu don't go inside now we, and don't feel bad? That's just a question. We don't need for answer. We can go ahead now. <laughs> and, and really, one of the most intricate things as well for us to understand in this issue is you have to give some credit to Abu Kabu regarding how he don't handle this because it's very easy for let it look like, say, na APC versus Mohamed Bangura. Yeah. He has played it so well that they don't find we negotiate then we on to that equals this because let's not forget when one man grab it, when i in i be the only member of apc in the world mm -hmm. by default he it, it been the there on the list the so somehow when the house was reconstituted they have found he has found a very skillful way forget what the apc need and also get revenge in some kind of way against Mohamed Bangra. very quietly without any noise um, uh, honorable um, abdul kabo na an engineer. You know it's engineer and capable for doing mm -hmm. the engineer things. The, when they do the dirty work, you know go see them. But when you see the fine building, or you see the fine machine, the, the bit, then you know say engineer don't work. So the engineer don't work in work. Mm. And and all right, guys, let's take a short break. Let's make some money, we'll be back. Do you want to be your own boss? Or do you want to add more to last to the last business? I don't then know if you're going to laugh or you're going to cost. Because BNB is there for you. What do you mean? With BNB, you can now make it's money so with just your smartphone. With a new revolutionary app, BNB POS, you can do remittance, bill payments, heads up airtime top up, and many more. All this from your smartphone anywhere you want. This sounds great. That is not just all. The app also features real time agent rebalancing and reconciliation. Oh wow, but how can I get a BNB POS and start making my own money? It's so simple. You can download the application on App Store or Google Play Store. Just search for BNB POS and download. Then call our customer service on 072 500 000. And within a short period of time, our agent will help you for the onboarding process. Wow, no time to waste. Let me do this right away. Oh yes. Start making money today from anywhere in Sierra Leone. For more inquiries, contact our customer service on 072 500 000. With BNB POS, you shop my pocket. It's sweet. It's sweet, Bob. It's sweet, Bob. Enjoy this. It's sweet. At least put you put on this duty. So enjoy, Bob. What are you show me home sweet home, Maggie? Now I use where I cook this sweet stew with so. Okay, no wonder. Home sweet home, not the best. I say home sweet home, Maggie. When you try and buy your places, you stew. I say not the best, Bob. You will enjoy them. You can use them for season. You chicken, you fish, or anything where concern season. Hey, I say you wear the self fry fry, cookery, roast roast. Now for use, home sweet home maggi is sober. Home sweet home maggi. Now me sister, na kitchen. Home sweet home, I sweet. Now try to make the home sweet. Home sweet home maggi, then all the marketable and shop for sale. But if you want plenty, go na 315 by Bure Road, K-Step Calvaton Fritong. Or you call the telephone number 076-648-959. Or 08 061-299. Home sweet home, Maggie. Now, me sister. Now, Epic kitchen. Forget natural solution for you, well, body one. Hey, not yet back again, no, because Dr. Osai Herbal Clinic, now you trusted partner for your complete well body business. Dr. Osai Herbal Clinic, then are the heart of salon, and they give one in time herbal solution for Boku Boku Sigre with over 22 years' experience now the herbal medical practice, Nakana and Ladiria. Hey, we clinic, they blend traditional wisdom and modern medicine for give you the best. What you don't look for now, we clinic, we don't use power with the nature for heal. 
different way. Herbal medicine them now from the finest organic material. We they get them locally for ensure say we protect them very very well. So whether in a small cold or not that a that or that big sickle, diabetes or hypertension, no worry yourself again, no. Because Doctor Osai Herbal Clinic gets the solution where you don't look for. Embrace the healing power of nature with Doctor Osai Herbal Clinic. Visit me today for schedule your next consultation. Now eleven Godish Street or big telephone in following at zero eight zero seven seven two two five zero or two seven six seven one three nine six eight or you can call them now zero seven three seven seven two 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 two. Join me now. Let me give you complete well body. Doctor Osai Herbal Clinic. Osai Nature. They meet well body. Alright, welcome back. This is Epic Morning Show. We come to you live here on Epic Radio 99.3 FM. And of course, we'll review some of the biggest stories then. Yes, so of course, some of the biggest controversies them as well. We don't happen throughout the week. But here is something major, Melvin, we're also ongoing right now. That, of course, you are seeing a lot of phases where they come out. And one of those front runners right now for, for replace um, President Julius Malabio is Musa Tawali. His name, he named the play in, in so many. <laughs> in so many brackets, so many categories. But whilst all of this is ongoing, SFP then constitutional review process is ongoing. So you get for ask yourself whether then get for copy some of that from APC, then textbook of five year clause or selection or election as the APC um we don't play with in then in the latest constitution. What do you think about all of this? What is informing the constitutional review in the first place? We still last SFP review then constitution. You don't five years or ten years? I can't say for sure. Um, what's the common understanding basis for you and the constitutional review? Mm. Uh, and, 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 and the interesting thing is, somebody with people and they say get intention, when are the chief minister, he is leading that constitutional review process. So for let the president put a trust in him as well for do this, shows a lot of confidence in him as well. I think the first question of what is informing this 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 action for a review mm. is it time is it um, circumstance is it necessity what is informing because when you know waiting the informer then you will know waiting waiting for be the end game if it's just for a review you say it's a good thing but this is not how political party operates then get the reasons they already operate in general common sense you were saying review now because of so many times don't change circumstances don't change and, and you know long time don't take and things don't change but in this case i remember the last day when we go to cat school it was a mini mm -hmm. and they make some adjustments was it not a constitutional review where they changed the leader and chairman position i don't think it was a full-blown constitutional review it was itself. what I can't say for sure, but uh, it wasn't a full blown. Unfortunately, Lilo and Slim already talked for the party. I don't know side they, but other people end on the front for the party as spokesperson. But um, as a people get a lot of questions to answer. Firstly, they are the party in government. If they're not, their house, they not get things right constitutionally. It means say even the national constitutional review process might not be right. So it's it, it's it's a highlighting situation for the party. Are they doing it for a person? Are they doing it for the party? Are they doing it for the country? Or are they doing it for just for political reasons? Because at the end of the day, it's not about how you review your constitution as a political party, but how you take actions when in governance to change the lives of people who vote at the end of the day. So you can put the best professor on Harvard as head of the review process, but if the end result is going to be just so political um, gerrymandering, political gimmicking, political um, advantage taking, you might botch. Because SRPP is not the kind of party where it's forbidden for the people and go court to. The one that PC said, Alfred Peter Conte, now the only group court. When they see as taboo. When it comes to litigation, litigation. Well, it's, it's so we'll, we'll, it's something very common. We'll call Elkas and let him give it from the judiciary standpoint, almost <laughs> internal party cases <laughs> if you don't get to the civil court. Before, before even so you know I mean I, mean, I remember the latest being Buba Kai Jabi oh, and how oh, we hold the party. Oh, of course. So you know, who said people and Sabi too much we have political advantage for money, not easy. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be the dilemma of President Madabio as the leader and also other members of the executive as to how the succession plan is going to look like. Hmm. If Mada Biose, he want for control, who the succeeder, after me, you like an escoma, 
I can't forget it for some consequences like Samuel Kamara and Yusabia. That is just the political reality. So you have to allow the party for the side. If they allow themselves to be manipulated, they, they fall down from APC. And it's early days right now. We all don't know waiting really they go into this new constitution for now. But you think they go copy from the textbook of the APC with that five-year claw or thing or things like election or selection. With SFP, it's always about election. But do you think at some point they will get to a place where they will say maybe selection is also not a bad thing after all? <laughs> uh, the, the SFP don't go through a lot in terms of internal uh, political wrangling uh, like many other parties. And they don't go through a lot. And I know I believe say waiting precipitates this particular review. Now the fact that those who enjoyed this almost outgoing constitution now then 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 feel a lot of pain for put things in place for make the party appear to be united. They then go through a lot of pains because there are things where um, it be unconstitutional, but then do them. You understand? Then people and care, then go to court, then they learn from that. Because they, they, they wanted to, to hold a convention without going through the primaries. Well, well think people, like, people like Prince Harden, the chairman, will tell you that he, he's using the Machiavellian way, the end justifies the means. He has won two elections. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. they find out, say, if any other person come, we get uh, um, Prince Harden in tendency. You understand? Instead of one can work with this kind of constitution where they get to, then the very prince adding go 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 challenge them because he know the pitfalls there or the nuances the way they inside them constitution and they where they may operate on. So I believe say and they're all outgoing now because I think now last time he did do now as as mm -hmm. as chairman, then uh, and the president said they doing last time and as the, leader. And there is a queue forming for and, his job. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. Yes. So the one for left the one for left the, the scene. You understand? With a document where now if anything go right or wrong, now the document they go blame other than them, whether they all been done the way they manipulate issues within the political party. Well, maybe Looking at the kind well, maybe of manipulation is a strong word because we not get evidence of, of that. Of course, manipulation is not a strong word. It is a political word. Politically, you have to manipulate things to your advantage. Like I say, we, and the manipulation. We know how the IMC you will call. That's why we're avoiding the word manipulation. But on a more serious okay, strategizing. Thing, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um so what's your take i, I mean none of them are not really touch on that five year or or, or selection well, election clause deliberate to one left and because we don't know the small small thing because i'm saying it. this i'm saying this because if that five year clause for example come into effect mm. people like musa tawali i don't know waiting for forbidden fate mm -hmm. and and you go say perhaps people like can Kala maybe get the leakage a bit early and decide say let it return early so that five years go meet time in the party. <laughs> let I just take <laughs> one statement we um, we don't make. We all. That any outside book man and the, you cannot predict what will happen. Because if you will bring that five years closely come up, we really talk so. Others will bypass it. You talk about. Um, um, how, how old they? Hold on. <laughs> the truth of the matter, then go tell you, say, we'll be done. Now, nah, vex, we vex, we left, we go. The we don't come back. You have to ask Sam Sumana if Dandy will work for us. <laughs> Hold on. The APC. Hold on. Now, I remember we saw people and deflect come off from the party, then go NGC. After the party win, they not come back to the party. And uh, waiting and go, it's oh, we were blinded by sweet words, but we don't come back for come build with party. We, we papa the left kiwi. Uh, the party we will so love. Mind you, politics not get any permanent um, 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 statement. It only gets a permanent interest than I follow the person day in operations of which he want for do. So we cannot continue for um, preempt some people in action because human being is never static. We are very dynamic and things can happen. But I believe, say, the SLPP go try for look at something else. They're not going to copy directly from EPC. They go one for do their own thing in, in a grand style. Maybe it seems like they go social five year clause. They, they will bring that five year clause. Yeah, well, understanding the agenda, the agenda, the agendas of politicians, we are learning if you be magician or if you be them powerful more man, political agenda for understanding. If you be powerful more man, in this case, literally, if you for do political permutation and calculations well. But 
For me, I'm first year, I'm keen about the timing. The last constitutional review in the SRBP was done in 2022, and I got the excerpt of, of, of that report. They were say, um, writing in the press statement published yesterday, Tuesday, August 18, 2022. This is why the SRBP Party Secretary General Roman Napoleon Koma, who is also serving as country's deputy attorney general by then, in keeping with the changing dynamics of the democratic landscape of the world in general and Sierra Leone in particular. <laughs> so that when you look at that word, the dynamics of democratic landscape alone, you know, use political landscape. Ah, it's a dynamic. So, but what, what is all boiling to? Is President Bio as the leader? This is all about President Bio, we like it or not. Is the leader of the SLPP. The last time I remember in this 2002 period, when, when he do, when SLPP do the review, 2022. The, 20, 20, 2020, 20, 2022. 2020, 2022. Okay. Yes. 2022. You find out, say, powers we are reduced from certain officers and given to a certain person who is the leader. Centralization of power. So, what is the agenda of this new revised constitution? Perpetuation of power, opening the game up. So, the five years clause. If person they way na pa in interest, a day under five years, there is a tendency that it can be reviewed for under five years. Mm. Of course, you don't expect APC for, the SAP for play by the act, the textual blueprint of the the the, 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 the the APC, but the fact remains that they are all politicians, they are all Sierra Leoneans. They are all almost doing the same things, and, all and they can do the same thing. Yeah, do you think they will, they will go to selection and election? Because I know it has always been no, election. They will, no, 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 no. The way, the way, they, the way they selected the, the leader of the party, I will not be surprised if the, APC, the SLPP goes into selection for what they criticize the, 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 the APC of. I'm not going to be surprised. Just watch how the president be the leader of the party. Then they don't give you some political insights. That it's wake, wake up and car. And like when I pass it, yeah, but you know, feel say Danny will open them up to a lot of litigation if you get to a point where 2027 they need to forget a flag bearer, and then you get to a point where it, it was appointed like how Samura Kamara was done in 2018. It could divide well, the, the, the truth is, and like how you, you I always talk, um, um, SLPP not fortunate for enjoy selection over election but they're always smart for organize the election in such a way that at the end of the day the story where you will hear or you will see where will come out as the end product go look like selection that selection like because, like like, the, like, the, like, like solo, the, solo yes, 2005 mm -hmm. scenario na McKinney, yes that was not a selection it was an election but when they come out, they, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people will take part in the contest, like the JB Dowders, they all back. want, they back out, everybody come out, they say that, yeah. even somebody come out, say, go form a young political party, mm -hmm. we care a lot of people and go away. Mm -hmm. That's Charles the Charles Magai. Of course. Because they all be look the election like na selection. But there is a thin line between election and selection. If not selection, just remove the S. It <laughs> <selection. laughs> All right. Let's now hear from people. Yeah, let's now hear from people. Zero seven nine 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 four nine nine three. I mean, it's probably too early even to have this conversation anyway, because we are still what four years away. I mean, this year the president, this week, by the way, make President Bill six years in power on the fourth of April in twenty eighteen. He was sworn in. So. Um, Sense of internal. Yes, yeah, so can you so it, so it, it, is, it is qualified. So we have four, four, four more years down the line. Qualified. But let's hear from people now. Seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Good morning. Hello, Jared. Yes, bumper go on. Yeah, you see, I want to follow me, brother Melvin. You see, this PR system, give the political weight, especially to what echo us, like I measure this. This is a numerical strength. And then thing then they determine the political parties, the way they get it in parliament. And let him not forget the third person in this nation, not a speaker. So for let and uh, what anything where parliament don't take, the laws then with the law with other countries, then vary, then different. They say, they say you can't take the law law that they compare with other constitutions. There is a difference of what the speaker, and we all speak and I are, now in the third man of the nation. So what any what anything we take towards the MP then, uh, is here and amen. And not forget, say, 
uh, in the area of the judiciary, now the more get this problem because the area of regulation, they're not a, this not a big slap right. to them. Thank How you do very you much. Take me All right. Exactly, my brother. Thank you very much. Let's go and hear from more people here. Zero seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Let's hear your thoughts. Good morning. Hello. Yes, Good sir. Morning. Nemo, sir, I call we from. Ah, uh, I call from Peter. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go on. Um, the concern and review of the SLCP. These are the challenge, but not to the first post in this week. Talk. I talk about to this day. President, do you know therefore? He get for contest twenty twenty. Hello. President, you the for talk that. Okay. So then start a post from the new constitution, mm. they come to the national constitution. Mm -hmm. That might be for my country. All right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, like this, and, now, now, Skoka, now, in, now, in, now, give me <laughs> We have to also say this week, this is the week as well in a DCAP meeting where uh, President B also. Of course, he also clarified that point that he has no interest in running for a second, uh, for a third term, nor get interest for extend Excellent. even in term to seven years, as people have said. He was saying this while he be talk about the review of the 1991 constitution we're ongoing. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I think good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Name on side the call from. Yeah, this is my contact with me because from this from. Thank you very much. I hope the police are listening to this Kondi farm up Kisitong. So somebody they complain say um they don't get one blue blue day. Let's hear from more people. Good morning. Good morning, uh, slightly from Central. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, Mohammed Bangura just don't shoot his head at the foot. I don't ask you to go challenge the speaker. Now a gathering where the speaker nine yeah for catch yeah in and I now if you try for catch the speaker yeah if you see Mohammed Bangura go ever talk my lap parliament speak again. If you doubt me, make your ask Parantarawali. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Well, I think Mohamed Bangra did speak yesterday. I mean, even though we sang a pot almost Mende, I preside on the house, so maybe that won't count. But good morning. Yes, sir. Go on. Yeah, thank you. Uh, same thing when Mr. Ego advised Mohamed Bangra. Honorable Mohamed Bangra. They say one man cannot fight a dozen. If you say you did fight back, that you did fight the speaker, you did fight APC, and you did fight SAPP. So please, please, left hand to God, the way he talked yesterday. About these five years, I mean, uh, uh, when they will talk now, SAPP, definitely that the thing that then they go for you, for don't register, up to five years before you they go in for Flavia seat. This is not the main reason why I make KKY form after you don't form NGC and you see don't go far up and politics and resign there for can re register na SFP for that Flavia seat. But thank God, uh, uh, Melvin, they know that place. They want to be done, they humbug my mind because I don't hear you have Boku Boku side about this Flavia seat. Is it true that say then now we constitution for say if you fly uh, you I mean buy then you win then you take a running mate UAE win the election would have done that would have first time second time you take the same I mean uh, 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 running mate would have run for second time take it down would the uh, say then now we constitution for say automatically. That man then now uh, for be the uh, uh, next club uh, there. They tell you that that make uh, uh, Parkababi not be take Joe be for All the right. second time. Thank we hear say that that make an uh, SB sack trans man, uh, you know, for that you know, be that he will not look him for me. if not true. All right. We'll go look him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from more people here. Zero seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Let's go. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Yes. 
Yeah, good morning, Ajazi. Ajazi, go on. Yeah. It's not to Melvin. I just want to know if Mohamed Bangura will get any case for five against the Speaker of the House concerning why making a no choose for Speaker and for Wuna at the Ecowas Parliament. Now, this I just want to look at it. Oh. Okay, Ajazi, thank you very much. Let me put three more calls here through seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Keep it sixty seconds as well. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Jawad. Yes, sir. Mr. Rogers from Juba. Go on. Yes, sir. Uh, I think it's too early for talk about within SFPP they start for two. All within people in the talk, you know go talk thing way you know see and yet or you know hear and yet. If you're not one of the panelists and we didn't need it for do that arrangement, then you can talk all with him and don't talk. It's too early. Let them wait. Let the people then go do what it and they do. Then after that, now you can analyze anything. Well, it's too early. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go and hear from two more people here. Seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Um, let's go and hear your thoughts. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Um. John from John Street. Oh, come, John. Yeah, um, the man from Kondi Farm, where they say the Bobo the Norm can go up the hill. I think let one person come out in the community, go na lonely, ask for ASP to me, na the operation officer. Let them go report to her, then then go, go scatter them. Then for Mohamed Bangura, this na lesson to politicians them. You know the fight you party, or you know the day against you party. Now the end result of them team them yeah. But just like we doctor they say um we no go take in word as um substantial statement because Mohammed Banguana with all due respect, it's not a man of in word. He will say this thing today, then tomorrow he will change. He say he don't let in case give God, but we no go know which thing will happen in the next days coming. John well, from John Street. The thing is, God get different way for faith for people as well. So we can't say for sure what's not the meaning. <laughs> but let me just take one last call here. Seven nine 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 four nine nine three. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. Name was yeah. I call from? For the, for the Musa. For the God. I call from Ascension Town. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Abbas Bundu, we know, because we need to get Abbas Bundu in your side. Why make that happen? You see, that's that, that's the one. Not two. Uh, the Kush business, because the game of like this fight, see or see also because still the Kush uh, uh, and manufacture, still in the manufacture, the Kush, still up to now. And the seller, and when they sell the seller, I don't see and up the hill. That is the body the cool. Mm. So now I need the police then, and for try to see that, they put tight. Tight marking on them people they make the push them and we the sell them. Okay. Because um they see the pass mark. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you very much. I'm sorry you don't run out of time. All right, that's the last call we can put through for now. But Melvin, you will talk about the political consequences of the uh, Mohammed Bangra decision and how it was treated. In contrast, you have to go back to the APC time and see when it got to a point who said Banadet Lahai now be the leader of the SFPP. Clearly um, he was doing things where in party being disagree with, but publicly and privately, APC back him, then support him, even at a time where SFPP won for pull him, then able pull him. And then you have a reverse case now where Mohammed Bangura has gone against his party on the whims of SFPP. Now we push John Khan to shove, he has been left hanging. And, and that is the political deviation there. And we are the attempt to explain the consequences. Mm. Somebody they ask for the, the speaker in decision be final. Saidu, I, I, I agree with you that the speaker decision is final as per the law in parliament. Anything you do cannot. But when it comes to the legalities generally, you cannot tell me that in such a case where somebody feel aggrieved, you're not going to see the guys in the courts. That's precedent and they towards that when the decision they not be challenged. So with regards to the political, did the speaker act in the spirit of the SLPP party and the caucus in parliament? Did he act in the spirit of the SLPP party executive? Or did he act just because of constitutionality and in the interest of states? 
Because each one gets separate consequences. If he acted in the interest of national cohesion, democratic best practice, that is fine. For let the peace day, let Allah in the parliament, and let, you know, let the democracy thrive healthily. That is fine. But if he do so at the detriment of in-party members and say, but this man will be celebrate, now he go to it, so we know gladly. Or what if the leader and the executive of the party say, oh, you've not acted in conformity with which we believe. Political belief in that alone is undefined, though. That by action, you didn't know that. They are undefined because the political parties do not get ideologies on those issues, especially issues around cross-party support. Because the constitution, not crime for let you do let you give cross-party support. It's a crime. We people like it's okay for repeal this section, for repeal this section, because they no say it's a crime. That's why you have the whipping system, and they look and say, well, sometimes for cross-party lines for. Is on issues of national level. So this one, is it a, a partisan issue or an individual issue from the speaker? If it's an individual issue, if it's an individual decision coming from the speaker in tandem with just waiting and deciding a parliament, failing that, well, it's just his it's day. And let's not forget, the speaker <laughs> cannot get in on C yet. He has not come out yet for defending action. Well, I will not hold a brief for him, but I've attempted to talk to him on this issue. Mm. I will not hold a brief. I think the administration of parliament is getting right. The speaker is one of the finest writers. He can write for himself. He has got an administration to explain his own side. And there are media outlets who don't interview him on this issue. I know one of which now, Awoko, and several others. He has stated his position, but I'm not here to hold a brief for him. Okay. He can come and explain for himself, and people can ask him questions. No. But at the end of the day, I don't think say the speaker in one in one wearing such practice now that you for can announce why you not announce if you know say that the due process and what you're doing is right why you not can announce that well let MPs then get a collection of voice over it. because maybe they appoint honorable Mohamed Bangua you bring her the house for collection of voices so why now you are taking it as a secret decision okay your final thoughts on all of which we don't discuss this morning yeah thanks to the callers especially the one we talk about the kush boys don't migrate to a different level now so this tells you that community participation in the fight is very key and the communities then continue and make people maintain the human rights of others and make them make sure they support the law enforcement agencies then for me, they, because this thing is really big. Uh, if if this thing will be done container within community levels, we we'll don't even need the, the the state of emergency now. We may still no no let like with it because of the the consequences we will come later when the regulations they go down for them, the people go don't understand the realities. But the fact remains that the Kush fight is a community fight. We all for do them for we own safety and for the safety of we own young ones they will come up. Then for the political things that we will talk, talk, talk about we now like waiting the SLP to try for do, they are doing a constitutional review. The SLPP is a political party, but it is owned by the people of Sierra Leone. Anybody can win or anybody in the saloon can go and knock the doors of the SLP and say, I can't, I can't, I can't join. I want to see what you want to do. And that's why uh, things uh, like with the, is even gazetted. It, yeah, it's even gazetted. So it's, it's the public need to know. So we're discussing it now and for just prompt people and because we, they give people the news where they go use for making them understand the democratic credentials of the country and how to move. Mm -hmm. So we for talk about them and people are interested go go find out. In a, in, a, in a civilized way and let them know what's in the day after. And at the end of the day, this, the final document is therefore come public. And finally, to <laughs> the arrangement of the five years, um, we're not going to talk like somebody talk and say, if the president gets eye of a successor and the successor no reach the threshold, we would try to discuss. Yeah, just, uh, they can just discount. They can <laughs> tenants, They can discount tenants that particular aspect for make the thing go smooth. But however, it is for every man to decide in own political fate whether I want for own or I want for be a part of a party. Make them run and that way they we they would watch and we expose mm. everything to the public. Doc, well, um, basically, let me say thanks to all the callers. I don't really see with King interest, but. Um, on a holistic um, view, I want for all say and you know, say the fight against Kushna, we all get them. Um, not to for just the government, not to for just the um, one that we don't become victims of the Kush itself, but also it affects we well-being as a people. 
So let me put all hands on deck. If there is something you can do without waiting for government intervention, why not? Go ahead and do them. Because at this point in time, Musa would do so. We don't need them for escalate more than that. Especially we, um, I just get for understand, say now then they sell them around the river line or around mountains, which is very bad. Because what if somebody take and then it go down and say, we might get some big issues on that. If it's around mountains, you will not it. It Yeah. <laughs> if, if, if he did around mountains, it will turn up also to each down. So it's something that we should take very seriously. We need for this time. Concerning the SLPP and the constitutional review, but we know how that to get for end. No matter how we talk, and someone get for go court, Allah get for commodity because nobody, you can't satisfy everybody at the same time. There is definitely bound to be some some kind of um, misunderstanding, and we will try for see how that. And to honour right. Muhammad Bangura. Um, we the wait for see Usai you left the case we got to get for end up with you because I know see there's something going on. All right. On behalf of that, thank you very much. Thank and you very have much. Have a good weekend, everybody. Thank you very much, Doc, for being here as well. Melvin and Kevin as well. Stay with you when we come next. We have a lot more on the papers, and finally, we don't get to Guma Valley as well for talk to we on that um, on that Hamilton situation. Usai the Hamilton people get that five thousand dollar and give them for make them fix them pipeline them. And then the money is still in limbo and they can't have their service. So Guma as well will explain their own side about that this morning. You don't look for side, forget natural solution for you, well, body one. Hey, not yet back again, no, because Dr. Osai Herbal Clinic, now you trusted partner for your complete well body business. Dr. Osai Herbal Clinic, then at the heart of Salon, and they give one in time herbal solution for who poke sick them with over 22 years' experience now the herbal medical practice, Nakana and Liberia. Hey, we clinic, they blend traditional wisdom and modern medicine for giving you the best. What you don't look for now, we clinic, we don't use power. With the nature for heal. We have all the medicine them now from the finest organic material. We they get them locally for ensure say we protect them very, very well. So whether in a small cold or not a that or a big sick like diabetes or hypertension, no worry yourself again, no, because Dr. Osai Habal Clinic gets the solution where you don't look for. Embrace the healing power of nature with Dr. Osai Habal Clinic. Visit me today for schedule your next consultation now 11 Godish Street or Big telephone and following at 080 77 2250 or 076 713 968. Or you can call them at 073 77 2222. Join me now. Let me give you complete well body. Dr. Osai Habal Clinic. Osai Nature. The meet well body. With me, I is Aminata Bangura. Inside the edition of the Biz and Eco News, Salon don't find itself as they face economic headwinds as in foreign exchange reserve remain below the threshold required by the central bank. According to the statement issued by the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Salon, despite slight increase in the gross foreign exchange reserve of the central bank, we now cover two years seven months of import compared to two years three months recorded in the third quarter of 2023. The reserve still falls short of the required three months of import.
export cover measuring the number of months reserve can sustain import. The central bank attributes a boost in reserve position to inflows from development partner them during the review period. However, the MPC expressed concern that despite improvement, reserve remain below the, the indicative threshold of at least three months of import cover. <laughs> The Accountant General's latest report don't show notable shifts in the depreciation of the loan. We indicated a decrease of 16.8% between January and December 2023, when a significant improvement from the steep depreciation rate of 64.3% recorded in the same period inside 2022. Now the unaudited 2023 annual public account, then be highlight exchange rate pressure mark moderation at the second half of 2023. This trend be attributed to the recent policy interventions implemented by the Central Bank for address Currency volatility. The measurement also include the removal of administrative barriers, selective lending in foreign exchange, and expanded acceptance of foreign currencies. Per certain transactions, them would then complement by stringent policy stance. For secondary results, the exchange rate depreciation is substantially reduced to 7.3% between July and December 2023, compared to a staggering 32.53% during the corresponding period inside 2022. <music> 2023 fiscal year will witness significant surge in the government expenditure as revealed by the general purpose financial statement of the consolidated fund published by the Accountant general's department the unaudited 2023 annual public account on veil staggering figures indicate expenditure levels well above target total expenses for the year amount to 18438 million loans marking a substantial 36 percent increase compared to 2022 figures more notably this expenditure may surpass the budget target of 14 1,078 million loans by a staggering 31%. Breaking down the expenditure, the report by highlights that non-interest recurrent expenditure accounted for significant portion with total 12,843 million loans. This include expenditure on wages, salaries, employee benefits, non-salary non-interest recurrent expenses, transfers, grants, and other recurrent payments them. <laughs> In a moment of redemption, St. Mary's supermarket on proudly welcome back in Patreon today after a brief closure mandated by the National Revenue Authority last Friday. The closure prompted by the marketing failure for mid tax obligations, particularly the issuance of GST receipts and hindering tax administration, been left customer and employee them alike in a state of uncertainty. Commissioner General of the NRA, Mrs. Jenemba J. Bangura, been shed light by the ceiling of action and same also emphasized the necessity of compliance with the tax regulation them. We came and we sealed up the supermarket for non compliance. Early in the week, they did not issue a GST receipt. And everyone is aware that we have been trumpeting and we keep reminding, we keep educating that everyone, every business that has a GST receipt must issue a receipt. But unfortunately, they did not comply. And as a result, we had to not only find them, we sent them a letter Thursday with a fine of 200 and uh, 60,000 uh, new loans, and then we came and sealed off the supermarket on Friday. And it remains sealed throughout the weekend. And as you heard what we said, they visited the office yesterday, whereby we had discussions, and we were very clear as to what we needed to do in order for us to come back and be sealed. Now, all this I get for you inside today's edition of the Biz and Echo News with me, Iris Aminata Bangura. Hello, good morning, and um, hello, good morning, and welcome to the final edition of Spot Update Inside the Epic Morning Show with me, Reginald Bayano Jukutu Soya. Inside Spot Update this morning, Real Republicans and Wusum Star, um, of course, play all to a one all draw yesterday. Now, the Seattle Football Association, Kingdom Academy. It was a very good match, uh, but the soccer ambassador will be managed for getting an equalizing goal and secure the point. And yesterday, after a meeting with all the 20 English Premier League clubs, the FA in England unanimously agree that, um, of course, next season, then go we'll introduce a semi-automated official 
um, offside technology for the upcoming season. Of course, this semi-automated um, offside technology, they use them in the World Cup and it was marvelous. So the FA in England will agree say next season, that is the 2024-2025 season, then get for use that technology day. It was a very good night yesterday for Atalanta as um, Gasperini in boys them in beat Liverpool by three goals to nil. A remarkable performance in Anfield, by the way. And that was Liverpool first defeat at Anfield in 14 months. We see goals from um, Skamanka. Skamanka gets two goals yesterday um, for Atalanta. And we also see um, Pasalic Webin gets the last goal in the 83rd minute of the match. So it was Atalanta 3, Liverpool nil. Uh, we, we also see Bayern Leverkusen yesterday defeating West Ham by two goals to nil. And Aston Villa, the English club, win, win by two goals to one. So um, more, more, more Europa matches that will come next week. Sierra Union uh, International, that is Kai and Sukama, being linked up with Tottenham, Real Madrid, and LAFC, former player Gareth Bale, after Los Angeles, then 2-1 victory against LA Galaxy. Of course, um, Sky Kamara and Gareth Bilbin get a, a lot of conversation and then we talk about the Art Shape Foundation and how they're going to develop them. So more of that thing here we will continue for discuss and inside the program as well. Rafael Veran um, will be out for the next few weeks with a muscle injury we sustained during Manchester United game against Chelsea. So that is 58 separate cases of injury for Manchester United and it's um, very, very more dangerous. So Rafael Veran, Johnny Evans, they joined Lindelof and also uh, uh, all of them play Martinez with the all along gets injury. So Manchester gets only two established centre backs now. We are available for selection. That is Ari Maguire and Willie Kambuala. Inside sports update as well. Joe Linton set, uh, of course, on sign a new deal. We go valid till 2028. And Joe Linton on a new deal said it was the best decision to commit my career to Newcastle. I love the club. I love the fans. So that's a massive news indeed for Joe Linton. And finally, the Seattle Women's Premier League Week 15 fixture is there. I'll just run through them quickly. Koya Queens go play um, Kaula Queens. The match they go play tomorrow at mile 38 field. FC Calon female go play against Seattle Police female. 3 p.m. On uh, Sunday, now the Seattle Football Association Academy, Mena Queens go host correctional service right inside McKinney. Mogwemo Queens go play against Ramke inside Rutile. And of course, we go see Patricia Umu we go play against Vienburg and then go play um, that particular match day inside Cambia. Remember today we did talk to the female goal queen inside the ongoing Seattle Women's Premier League. That's um, Kumba Zaina Breimer. She's currently with 27 goals in the ongoing league after playing 15, um, 15 games, 14 games we had, by the way. And of course, uh, um, they also don't produce seven assists. So today, we can't tell you about in Johnny and we will review the weekend matches in both the Women's Premier League and the Male Premier League. We're bringing sport updates this morning. My name is Reginald Boy Anusura. They say continue for listening to the Epic Morning Show. Bye-bye. And welcome to another edition of Epic Entertainment Balls with me, Therese. Today, with the profile Linda Samai, we in stage name Nastazi, in a Sierra Leonean, and in genre in music, na rap and hip hop, and in record label, na does cabal. Linda Samai, where people can call Stazi, na multi award winning hip hop and dancehall artist, and in papa name Patrick Samai, when I've been former vocalist, na the military dance band, and in mama Sumbo Samai, when a nurse. He's been born and raised inside Freetown, and 
Anastasi be enrolled inside various performing art group them, where first exposed them to the music industry. And at the age of 14, he been joined Stress Inc. Records. Stasi may automatically be introduced in group where he called Ladies Day Out. The Ladies Day Out compromise of four female artists them with Anastasi, Lady Felicia, Julie, and Thelma. Inside December 1998, the Ladies Day Out group been released their album with entitled Focus on Africa. Stasi in input on that album, they been bringing them great fame na the music industry inside Salon and beyond. However, since he launched the album of his solo career, Stasi been released five albums them, where the last one he been titled Am Collabo. Stasi don't go on tour na different countries them like United Kingdom, Australia, for perform regularly with other artists them from in country and outside other countries them, including a performance with Nigerian star Pato Rankin. Stasi recently collaborated with international dancehall heavyweight Stone Boy, where he earned an award for best collaboration of the year. And also, Stasi don't do songs them like around here, Catch Fire Usai if Future Idem, Leader Usai if Future Stone Boy, Champion Show Them, Tell Me One Them Usai if Future Emerson. And also, in most recent work them, where he don't do include Champion Meriwether Punch, where produced by Crack Malo and the video director of the song, when a songer and Stasi. When all this are gets for you, inside today edition of the Epic Entertainment Balls with me, Therese. Because it's true. All right, welcome back. This is the Epic Morning Show. They come to you live here on Epic Radio 99.3 FM. If you just join me, we are live on TV, radio, and also online. So um, don't forget, you can also catch me on um, Choice FM in the center of Freetown. So let's go to what's in the papers and they say here this morning, satellite newspaper. Um, um, after 17 years of constitutional review process, Parliament to debate CRC's recommendations. ECOWAS celebrate Dr. Sidi Mohamed Tunis. And um, Global Times also the lead with President Bureau retreats commitment to complete the constitutional review process. When else endorses the fight against Kush. Now, here's the thing about this constitutional review process. President Bio gets the opportunity for left this as a major legacy. For the president will really follow through on reviewing, completing the review of the 1991 constitution. This is a constitution where I think he is the third president who longer since since with democracy come. We done the promise for fix some. Already the first five years in government never achieved achieve that. So this second five years, time is sticking because there are so many sticky issues we got for in the constitution. We get for fight over, we get for debate over, we get for argue over. That if you not start and now, if you not take them, four years, the next four years might not even be enough for low complete. And so the ball has to start rolling now. And I, I know the, the government will say, well, we don't accept some of the recommendations. Yeah, which is good, but we're still far away from where we really, really ought to be right now. Let's go to what I will call it. See, we just don't declare a state of emergency. There has to be regulations. That's according to Honorable Daniel Kroma. 85,000 living with epilepsy in Sierra Leone. Trees in trial. Coiters mobile phone tendered in evidence. Premier News the lead with EU government signed 15 million um, euro initiative to fight violence against women. Sierra Leone puts in digital ID at the center of its digital agenda. Standard Times, the lead with fraud at Bloom Bank. Three staff, one nurse on remand. I have to ask myself this question again. Why we always get fraud cases in we banks then? We all have to be worried about we money, eh? But let's go to, um, let's go to, to, um, Open Space newspaper, no one does it better than two margin to camera. I think this has to deal with her bid for the Sierra Leone Bar Association presidency. Yenga should be freed. Um, that's another story on the open space. But here is an important story on Standard Times. In fact, this is kind of like a rejoinder or maybe a rebuttal to that Guma Valley story with them publishers that we will talk about. Blame Guma, not board chairperson, the board chair react. 
So, being to my as one of the chairperson, he was, she was mentioned majorly in that particular story yesterday. We'll talk about where them people and then as he said, drive now, how many it's in Grumble say, in when at the board chair, they even inform her about this issue that we don't pay Guma Valley five thousand dollars for fixed pipe them and for bring water and our home. Eight months down the line since 2022, then fix some pipes them. Watano continue for calm, and since then we've been raising the issue. And according to Standard Times, where then quote him yesterday is that when the issue meet time, say okay, well since this issue don't meet me and I'm the board chair, I will make sure we get to the bottom of it and your problem will, re- will be rectified. Two years down the line, the people that we pay their money still never get what tired. And today we are going to talk to Guma Valley. We we'll shortly get Ali Kaba on the line when I know the spokesperson for Guma Valley Water Company because look like say, but the board chairman don't pull his head out of all of this and he don't push the blame back to, to Guma. The very institution she is the board chair of. But let's just hear waiting will be Guma. They don't excuse about all of this. But like I say yesterday, this should not even be happening. Me us, I mean the area outside, it's been five days now, no electricity. Because apparently we own pool, get some faulty connection. But if we not put money and call Elsa for can fix them, then we go for can fix them. And that is the reality for everybody who they live in this city here. Yeah, that we have to pay public utilities for make them can fix problem we then suppose for fix with their own resources. But let's hear from Ali Kaba. Good morning. Good morning, I fix with you. Okay. Fix with you. So waiting at the crux of this issue, where people in ACC drive Hamilton they say then pay Guma five thousand um, dollars back in twenty twenty two for let them do some connections for them. And that connection day, some of it was done, some of it was not done, but the bottom line of it they not get what they owes as was promised. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, the background is in January twenty twenty two, some people in assisted drive Hamilton at Boji Guma Valley. Um, with complaint of um, no water supplier in the community, and then volunteer for help Guma Valley for fix the problem. So Guma sent the personnel that have ARA, we do survey, and decide to do a two inches main for go down to the CC drive. Um, we do an estimate, we come to 101,000 or 101 million loans, all loans, um, as, as a bill for do that work day. So the community volunteers say then go foot part of the bill. So then then, then pay forty seven thousand five hundred in February twenty twenty two. Mm-hmm. We constitute like for forty seven percent of the money and go ma do the rest. We make arrangements for get the material and in October of twenty twenty two we do that work day. Um completely, we do the work completely. What I go some ten about within um, four six months, but because what don't be there at the area and for people that don't see the opportunity, say what don't kind of the area, um, the people watch for um, connect to this new supply line. We um, at the end of the day reduce the pressure to the CC drive and make water stop for good day. But also not only Guma collect the money and just eat the money because definitely we can get the reservation for partner with communities, especially when they want to put on IPA and they work here. So what we are in with the community, you say all you want to we pay because about for some eighty people are then contribute that for the seven thousand five hundred day. We get some names there, we say if I get account with Guma Valley, um 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 and you pay bill to Guma Valley, the amount of money you fa- when you pay, we will factor that amount they back into your bill. So you will, you will get like on a credit. Mm-hmm. If you may contribute three thousand to this money, you will pay three thousand back into your account as credit. So th- every month now we will cut time on this small small until three thousand dollars. So if you get if you pay three thousand and at um not only that you pay for month. You will get a, a free credit for like 30 months. You know, they pay what they get to Goma Valley. Just for so make sure you want to repay them money back because yes, they are yes, not supposed yes. to be paying for this in the first place. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we say, oh, again, for the second category, you will contribute, but not get an account to the Goma Valley. You will get for pay for that 3000 because that was like for a meter charge, for pay service charge and meter. So we will connect you and fix meter like your property and can send it. Then we get a third category. So you will contribute. Oh, okay, you will not contribute, but also not get an account to the Goma Valley. For not booting the system, you will pay 6000 So now sort of in a link arrangement that we go with the community. But unfortunately, um, what I have now a social good and now a, a human rights, everybody wants them. So, no sooner we do that connection, they were talking about that community. People are already between St. Bepia and, and St. Michael's here. Then, say, 
jump into the opportunity. Either somebody cut pipe because they say what will pass me, go down yonder, may not get too many of, of, of stream not get same kind of thing. So we get a lot of issues that coming in today. We eventually kill the whole uh, project where we know able to resolve up to now. Yeah. So but, not, but from yeah. what you want to say is that because people don't cut cut pan and pipe them and that water supply has been interrupted, it means see there is more demand for me to get them water there to so many other communities. Is that something we have to work on for make sure, say, CC drive them problem solved? Yeah, very true. So, um, not, with, um, not like we don't do effort all this while uh, because they do um, um, leakage control and then kind of thing for peaks just for ensure, say, um, um, because the CC the, drive the, the very, very down the, the Hamilton community and this water also will take the main supply from now all the way, the main the, the highway, the main peninsula highway. So, for care that water go down and uh, you get up jump people in, um, it's very, very challenging. But notwithstanding, wait till we get this project now where we develop this new Angola system. Um, uh, Angola to New Jersey, where we don't look about 45 kilometers of pipeline from emergency uh, hospital in um, uh, um, Godrich State, take out of the Amuti community. Every drive, every um, 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 lane that they community in the Ogu Farm, Laka, um, 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 they all take it to Amuti community. They all get means that now only, now all the communities in the. So, I mean, that is sustainable um, 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 is what we look at. So no sooner um, um, the, um, the Angola project they are right now and almost 95% complete. The only thing we wait for now and after we get uh, the ends begin come, we test the system and what type of flood now all the communities and the the so, Amutin community, the Laka community, the Adonke community, the Ogo farm, onto emergency in a good reach. So how long approximately will they have to wait for now? Well, the system will act for me say, no, as soon as we get the rains in June, we commission that system, the, a brand new system, we will solve the water problem now, all the communities then they hopefully. And, and, and speaking about waste, one, I mean, f- I can come through Spur Road every morning, and yeah. around Ronsab School, there is a big pipe there where water they waste every single day. I, I mean, I remember two, three weeks ago, I see Guma Valley motorcar and day, so I'll be the hope so they will solve the problem. But they come this morning as well, I, I see what are the waste day. Well, um, that one in the, the, the leakage of that place, they, it don't take over 20, 20 years or more. We know it will, we know, 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 we we know, we we know, 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 we um, the leak, we don't know if now we get a run as power, and then they sit under and the other side of the car, they come, they come up to the surface. But in our, on, in our ongoing investigation, we don't know. But now they did not, we don't know if now the, the, the 18 inches or the 22 inches pipe we can have the leak, but we don't have investigation. We don't, yeah, but that investigation don't go on for 20 years now, like we see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now the 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 the, the um the, for locate suicide the 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 the, the leak actually the, because all these things things that are just a, a spring source that are a the where the um, um what are the commodity I mean all throughout the year but this being said we don't know what say that what are the um chlorine water and we, we still on the investigation uh, for suicide actually that what are the commodity but if that the the reservoir that spoiled that the leak small small that one is like, a big challenge we. Because within our city, we are constantly they tell we say we are unable to supply with all water. But if we have millions of gallons per year, the waste from that particular place, day yeah. in twenty years' time, we are for able to find a solution to them now. Yes, I mean this um, um, this management is a very proactive management, and we are looking to that one. They um, actively foresee also that water they come out, so we we'll solve that problem. Day. Okay. But I mean, uh, they are very long term. We we still we still under investigation. Day. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning. Thank you too, and for the opportunity. All right. You're welcome. So, um, we don't hear it from from Guma Valley, the young side, and Ali Kaba. We just be the talk to we on this very important issue. So it turns out that they say they do some of the work and, and some of the pipes were laid, but what's unable to come because so many other communities that they wait there before CC drive as well. Now Hamilton tap from that water source. So it means say the water not get enough power for get down there. But they are promising by June this will be fixed. So um we are in April now. So June will be here and we we'll, we will hold them to, to them word as well. So a good out on here from the young side. I mean this still not solve the problem. We 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 um uh, but like I say this is a problem we have with public utilities. We know they are constrained for funding. So if you have a problem with your pipe, with your meter, you pull now the community get for put money for letting problem solve quick quick. But sometimes even when they put their money for letting problem solve quick as well.
also becomes a problem. So let's now hear from you guys. 7999-4993. This has been a packed week. We don't discuss so many things. And um, and so let's see. Let's hear your thoughts on, on the issues um, we also don't discuss about 079-994-993. If you just join me, this is the Epic Morning Show. And um, let's let's go and, and take your calls now on the issues there. We're on the raise here. And um, so... Like I've said, that constitutional review process is something where um, the, the, the president and his government need to be committed for done now. I mean, it's been a long time coming. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Cole. Oh, Cole. Uh, yes, Mr. Cole, just come on your radio set. Yes, sir. I don't come on this, sir. All right, go on. This is not for Mr. Mohamed Bangura, sir. Okay, go on. The Bangura, I think the, it's high time for the, you put yourself together. Because, as I can always say, you know, they eat your cake and have it. Okay. I think we just lost Mr. Cole there. So, Mr. Cole, please call us again. So, maybe we'll be able to get your point clearly. Good morning. Hello, Jawad. Good morning. Good morning. Name was call from? Yeah, Usman from Spolo. Usman, go on. <laughs> Jawad, this is very uh, disheartening. So waiting this Kuma guy just uh, way in the way that it will take 20 good years for investigate for Watawusa in the common way. Now, we now leave the pipe. Now, we now know all the roads the Musa the, 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 the pipe the little. And Any time we leak there, I should say not to see any way there for the excuse for over 20 good years ago for letting uh, investigate investigate inside the water the common or this and that. You understand? Don't you know what? I want to let you know, like, follow what they tell you so because not that they leave every day because. People in this poll where they may pay for WhatsApp business and stuff, and they may pay for WhatsApp. Yes. But you know, I trust me, WhatsApp is open day three times per week, you understand? But now it will take a week or so, so, or so many times. What are not they open and what are not they open and again? People are not open and why it will be? Don't people that you know, spoil up, God, they tell you, so people in the street for the street for WhatsApp, you know, even for cooking, women and stuff like that, for they cook, you know, you know, people know they get type of food food again because what are not they? Yeah. Go get water. They, they take so many miles for you go get water. And when they tell me they use water, you see, they are spend too much. I don't know how come when they make another open for with the pump, we know we for able to sustain that water. And we know they live without water. Yeah, yes, they want to just talk for life for more life for more. So, thank, thank you very much. I, I totally understand. I mean. My family lives at Spoloop, and I know how difficult it is for me to get water on a weekly basis. And the situation might even be getting worse because that's how they do some of them work them and Guma Valley informed them some weeks back that they will, they will be having some interrupted supply of, of water. So water in other communities is difficult, and in so many other communities as well. So we have to do better with water supply. We can't be in a country where say water around we all, and then we can't get water to homes. What are we doing then? Good morning. Yes, Jawa. Yes, bumper gone. Mm, Jawa, the big one in Bangla. Let 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 you no know, blame Peter for for him pre the coming. They are big. Then politics they be. Let you no know, begin cast passion. It's about how deceit and how ungrateful and how people are not sincere towards politics. Man, the critical thing and the be sincere to you say, you say you go work with the values and principles of your institution. The issue about this five years, Jawad, let I even tell you, to what the APC with it, let I even say it's APC. If you don't left the, you go from other party, you anchor for can head. You know the head, you go start back crash. If they expel you, then say they even don't take you back. You they start crash. You know they can't go, I sorry, no, you know me, they did you know. People and did it. Any also way you go, you meet horses. People and for no than the inside politics. The issue of this water, so we guma na a lip service than the give Jawad. Because they know side the high grants then the water boss any side in those days. They they track and through the high grants them. But if you ask them how many high grants in the exist, they know service. They don't all friends side and they know so man don't go be those who say high grants. Okay. So tell me. Now they see them they 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 really never take into cognizance. Thank you very much. Let's go and hear from more people here. Seven nine 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 four nine nine three, and um, let's go. Let's hear your thoughts on these issues. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, yeah good morning. Yes, sir. I'm also call you from. Yeah, this is a call from Bowie Street. Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, do I want to talk to my brother? 
a real politics. I remember I'm going to say politics on the next one. So I, I wonder how he left case he got. Now I'm going to say politics on the next one. Politics just to religion. So wherever I see them, I don't know if he left the case to God. Because I'm not going to say for Julia case still. Because I'm going to say politics on the next one. So do, let me go and stick up to my little put on so they don't be here. They don't have to God. Okay. Yeah? Thank you very much. Let's go and hear from more people here. 799 and 4993. Um, let's go and hear your thoughts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Go yeah. On. All we thought any, we may talk about President Bill. Somebody say President Bill, they go in for the third time. I don't think if that person, even Sabi, would have not President Bill. President Bill would not go ever. Never think of that kind of thing they say. The problem is, would I go take over from man? Either KKY or whoever. People like Ametarawai, their name, who they hear for Flavia, for SFPP. It looks funny, you know. But we do Boku Boku Flavia, the way they appear, appear. So I will come tell me, party. Let it allow me send me an SFPP on loan for me to go campaign against some of the people they will be in the name for Flavia Rasif. And they beat me party. They will send me on loan my SFPP. Make I go campaign again. Because of them they were the year. It's very strange. They say they're not supposed for go they are for go be Flavia and SFPP. Okay. Um, I mean, question of where I'll be asked in another debate on uh, this question of Flavia, when I go fourth time, second time when I go automatically, they forgive the yellow for being the Flavia. Well, it doesn't work that way. It, it does, I mean, thank you very much. It doesn't really work that way. Everybody has to earn his own path to, to the tickets. I mean, for either parties, for any party, really. So it doesn't really work that way that... The possibility be, be deputy could just be automatically no, it doesn't work that way. Um, let's go seven nine 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 four nine nine three and um, good morning. Good morning, Jawad. Yes, sir. I mean, Yes, sir. Uh, um, Mamed Bangua, this is like the price we you pay for betraying the trust of APC. We believe in that trust nine the go before. But once you get trust the border, you know they enjoy it. You stay one, that a parliament stay. And then for this air and COVID, we don't always talk and Always with the talk and say, we, 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 we target the one that will bring this thing inside. The one that will bring this thing, this thing inside, now then the real problem. Yeah, if we don't get push, believe me, we don't get the one that will take push. I don't cite example of Elsa. This holiday, oh, oh, this Friday holiday, where else are not giving you life? Uh, we don't enjoy more, because life will be there. So once you know get supply, believe me, you know they get access. So let them cut off the supply chain. If they really see your from the schools. Other than that, that just joke is there some of the fan. Thank you, Javad. All right. Let's take two more calls and then wrap up here. It's 9.30 already from Studio Clock. And um, good morning. Good morning. Yes, Commander Jibo, you're welcome. Hey, Jawad, your friend, the Ramadan, let God give you the blessing. Mm, but you know, not send me the Selma full self. I can't, I can interview some people that this man. Jawad, I'm surprised today, in the salon, for let that Kuma Valley man say over 20 years, that he has more of us. I think salon, we don't know what you do. But Kuma Valley, now we're not responsible for what I, now we're not a big one. Now that the person are fight, just what are they with? Take it in a investigation. Hey, Jawad, this year I know good for talk. Jawad, what are they tell you? Me, Commander Jibo, what are the business of you? We they tell the country is longer, but people they are red for the governor. You know, SLBC, me, I wish them good luck. But what happened now, the former governor, SBC, were old man, and if the old man be trader, would have advice. All the man want power. All the man want the president. Yes, I know. Let God bless you. I do Okay. Thank you very much. Let me put through one last call here, and then we will um, wrap up. Seven nine 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 four nine nine three. 
And um, and then we'll wrap up for the week. So it has been an amazing week here, by the way. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yes, sir. Name was Hello, call from? Um, in Augustine, I call from Waterloo. Augustine, go on. Uh, Mohamed Bangura, what is the plan? I need to tell on us. Then second, I want to review this, this younger kid. He don't begin come up back. And from 1994 to now, a very long time. So the president, as a commander and a brigadier, he for think and very wisely. Because if you're able to defend you as a brigadier, then I don't think we should keep him as head of state. So let us make sure that, that particular part is for younger. Younger, let me put more effort in it. Because with the Yeri Bokuti saying that he don't sell, but that's not what we get for sale. Okay. Let the president. Well, I mean, protecting younger or not doesn't really, it's not a requirement for us having a command. I mean, um, uh, it's not a requirement for who becomes the president. So, uh, that's just a correction there. But here's the thing as well about Wenga. So a, a lot of development only happened there. I mean, from the Guineans as well are now building concrete structures there. And I know government people have gone there for, for really complain and negotiate and all of that. But at some point, we also have to take a very firm stand on this because we can't just always be on the defensive when it comes to Wenga. And the Guinean parts are showing a lot of aggression really with bold moves sometimes and of course that it will affect a lot of civilians who are also living in the in in in, in those communities so i think i'll stop at, at that and then we'll wrap up here for this morning thank you very much for everybody we don't watch we on sleek tv we've also been live on radio on choice of feminist and of and epic radio but here's the thing tomorrow it's a special day on um epic all this corner because epic all this corner will be three so it's a special party with dj wonder so tune in tomorrow uh, morning as well i know you know how you guys do it so um i'll be back here again on monday until we meet again I'm Mohamed Jawad Nelly.